Yo, what is up guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here today. We're going to show you guys a really cool card trick. But before we get into that, we do have a giveaway going on on our channel. We're giving away three pairs of AirPods. So if you guys want to be entered in this giveaway, first of all, make sure to like this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn those notifications on, which is the bell icon. Make sure to comment at least one time on our YouTube channel. Also, we'll have a link in our description to our Instagram where you got to follow us and also like our post. And then we also have a link to our Amazon page that will be in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting anything from Amazon, especially since we're in quarantine. We'll have a link in the description where you guys can check out our Amazon website page. And anyways, guys, we got a really cool car trick for you guys today. Let's get right on into it. Yeah, let's learn how to do this really awesome color change. So. Um, if you guys want to do this in a trick, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need the card selected and you're going to have to control it to the top of the deck. Uh, one of my favorite ways to do this, or one of the best ways to do it, is if you select a um, card, right? And by the way, credit to the Russian genius for this really cool um, color change. Um, so what you can do is you can have a card selected. Whatever you, whatever you have to do, control it to the top. So eight of clubs. And this is the exposed angle here. This is what's happening. You're basically peeling off the eight of clubs and then you're rubbing it on to the bottom card. So that's what it looks like from an exposed view. So it's gonna, it's gonna mostly work from a side angle like this where the spectator's looking down into the side. Now, uh, before we get into it, I'm gonna show you guys the best way that I personally think of getting the card to selected and to the top. And it will be a 100% um, free selection. And I think the best way to do this would to be first have them select a card, any card. So we'll go seven of hearts, right? And I think the best way to do this is to do a turnover pass, which I'll te teach really pretty quickly, just quick overview. Because when you do the turnover pass, now this is just an exposed view, right? We do the turnover pass, right? What's gonna happen is you're turning the cards over and it gives you a reason to go right into the color change because to do the color change, you're gonna do the, you're gonna need all the cards face up, right? So the turnover pass gives you guys a great excuse to have the cards turned over to do this color change. So you have the card selected, we'll go seven of hearts, and you just place it anywhere into the deck, and when you push it into the deck, you're gonna push it down so you can get a break right above the seven of hearts. So one more time, you hear, you push down on the seven hearts, you're gonna get a break right above it, all right? And you can tra transfer this to a pinky break. And from here, what's gonna happen is you're doing the turnover pass. So basically you're gonna grip the top part of the deck with your middle finger, index finger, and your thumb. And the bottom of the deck is almost gonna be released, I guess you could say. And what you're get what's happening without the top part of the deck here is you're going like this. So that's the move that's happening under the cards. So your entire hand is basically turning these cards over. So from exposed, right? You're taking your hand, you move it back a little bit, right? This way the cards, because if you do it here, the cards are gonna show, right? So you might have to move your hand back just a tad bit, right? You're gonna start to push down on the, on the corner of the cards with the pinky, right? And then from here, you're gonna have the cards in this position, you're gonna push down or I guess you could say, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your index finger on this side and you're going to push this down. So it's gonna be in a position like this. And with your index finger, you're gonna turn it over, which is why it's called the turnover pass. So that will control the card to the top of the deck, which is exactly where you're gonna need the selection to be. So one more time here, right? You're gonna push down. You're pushing down with your pinky, right? And you're clearing this, this uh, small packet of cards here. You're clearing them half the deck and you're taking your index finger, and once you get to this position, you're taking the, your index finger and you're flipping all the cards over. And it's okay if it's a little bit messy, but not you don't want it too messy. And this will give you the perfect excuse to do this color change because you're gonna have the card that you need to change uh, directly on top, which is the position you need to do the color change. So. When you guys do the color change, here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna grip the deck. I like to put all four thing fingers on top of the deck, and then my thumb is gonna be in the corner. 
And what's happening here is you're peeling off this bottom card by using your pinky and ring finger and your middle finger, and they're peeling off this bottom uh, card. Now, it helps to put pressure on your thumb the opposite direction. So I'm putting a lot of pressure here with my uh, thumb, and that will get that card to peel off. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're using this pinky. The pinky's what I use the most here, but you can use the help of your middle finger, ring finger to help peel that card off. And then from here, um, when you're doing this color change, you're usually gonna be doing it on an angle. Well, for lefties, it would be here. Righties, you'd be on the other side, like over here. And you want them to be looking somewhat down onto the deck because if you're doing it straight on, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna see that right there. And that just gives the entire color change away. So you hear all four fingers on top, thumb in the corner, right? You're gonna start using your pinky and ring finger, middle finger, mainly the pinky, right? You're peeling off this bottom card and you're turning to the side. You guys have seen the exposed view here, just so you guys can see it. With your, you're gonna do almost a 180 turn. So with the deck, so you're basically you're grabbing the deck and you're doing a 180 turn. And this card is gonna stay in your fingers like that. Now from here, you're gonna to need to transfer it to, you have a few options here, but for the most part, you're gonna be palming the card. Now, when you're in this position here, you can use your thumb to actually help you position it. Now, this thumb, you can do a few things here. You can use the thumb to either A, um, slide the card deeper and get the perfect position for a, for a palm, so you have the option to finish the trick with a palm, or you can, instead, if you don't wanna really palm it, you're not good at palming it, you can leave your thumb there the entire time or leave the thumb pushing up against the card. You can actually slide your hand all the way down, um, like almost to your wrist, and slide it back up. So you have a few options of what you guys can do here, but to get there, what you're gonna uh, need to do, once again, you're pulling down with the pinky, you're in this position here, you're doing the 180 turns to take your index finger and your thumb, and you're gonna be grabbing the two sides of the card. And when you're doing this, it's very important that you don't rotate your hand out like this. This hand is gonna stay still so they can't see um, the card from this angle. So make sure you're on that side angle so you you're peeling off the card. You're grabbing it, you're doing a 180 turn. Now clearly from this angle, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it, but from this angle, you guys can. You're doing this 180 turn and this allows you to keep this card right here, and you're gripping this card in between your ring finger, your middle finger, and your uh, pinky, right? You're gripping it between those three fingers, and you're holding it there until you're ready to readjust it. So if you can, um, some people, if you have large enough hands, you can just quickly readjust it uh, without even using this hand. But I, have a, I don't have huge hands, so I have to usually have to use my thumb a little bit to help readjust it to get it into a you know, a little deeper palm position before I actually do the change. So I use my thumb and my thumb's pushing up, right? And then I can use my thumb to push it into a place where I can actually palm the card and then finish the change from there. But if you guys don't wanna do that, you have a few options, you can do that. You can push it into a place where you can palm the card into a deeper palm to finish the change, or you can keep your thumb here the entire time, right? But you can slide this card or your hand all the way down almost to your wrist. You don't have to go that far, that's exaggerated. But you can just go up here and show that both of your hands don't have anything. So you can actually open up your fingers, which I think is pretty cool. Because when you're palming card, you're not gonna be able to open your fingers. But using the pressure from your hand and just pushing with your thumb, where the card's almost like that, you can actually open up both hands and then come in to finish the change. Um, for, so one more time, guys, you have the card selected, all right? push down, you get a break. Best way to do it is the turnover pass because it gives you an excuse to go right into the color change. But if you guys don't want to do the turnover pass, that's fine. You can do any other uh, card control. Just make sure you get their selection to the top of the deck anyway. It doesn't matter how. From here, you have the deck flipped over, four fingers on top, your thumb on the bottom, right? You're peeling off that bottom card, holding it, rotating the deck out with your other hand, right? Clearly from this angle, you're going to see it. You can use your thumb to help reposition it. Give your hand a quick wave over the deck, all right? You can slide your hand up your wrist, open up your fingers, but be careful. If you're gonna open up your fingers, make sure it's really deep in your hand. That way you can, you're not gonna be flashing it and it's almost hiding behind your wrist. 
So make sure when you do that, right, you have it deep in your hand, not like this, because if you open your fingers, you're gonna be able to see it. So make sure, use your thumb to reposition this card, and you're gonna come in, and you're gonna finish. Obviously, you can see it from there, but this angle you won't. You're gonna finish the color change like that. Just wave your hand over the deck. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you click the Amazon link that we have down in the description below if you guys want to, are interested in getting anything from Amazon and this is Card Shuffler. 99, peace out.